to know about your secret bank account? Unveiling the matrix, the fraud within our court systems, your Sestui K by trust, and the shocking truth behind your birth certificate. Problem that you've got, okay, which is, which is, is how they are able to do everything, is based all on deception, okay? And, and in that, we've got a contrast between law and legal. Okay, now the fundamental rules of legal that they've made sure that no one has learned in school is legal doesn't apply to a human being. Now, because they call something law, it doesn't necessarily mean it's law. So if it's legal statutes and acts, that's some form of legality. Okay, so what they have done is to, to make a threefold deception. Everything is based under the birth certificate. What you're actually going into isn't a courtroom. Okay, so your frustrations of what you perceive as perjury is that you're not actually in a law court. What you're actually stood in is a business which is facading as a court, okay, and is making high value amounts of profit which goes way, way past governmental level, so petitioning is, is pointless. It basically funds and fuels the central banking system via bonds of equity, which is all business, but business bonds hidden within a secret bank account upon your birth certificate and upon your children's birth certificate. This goes through the whole system. Okay. So if you were in the UK and you were to go to a Citizens Advice Bureau, the first thing they will do is they will offer you a free 25-minute uh, interview with a solicitor. You have to fill out a form where you write down your name in capitals, and this is crucial. Okay. You then, then sign the bottom. You then receive what you think is free advice, and what is happening is you've now given access to your secret bank account, and that is then profitable, and they're pushing you down the legal route, keeping you away from the law court. Okay. 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 So it, even on the smaller sections, your lawyer who you're paying, or if, you, if you're in the UK, it's the solicitor, they're not a lawyer as such, they are a legal advisor, and they're basically leg legally soliciting you for bonds of equity off of your birth certificate. So they're getting paid double. So the social workers, the social workers have got their quotas to get bonds of equity in this form to pay it to local council, local government, who have got their quotas to pay to government, and government have got their quotas of bonds of equity to pay back to central banking by war debt that were created by your Rothschild central banking systems and all of the Goldman Sachs, which all operates, and this is how the whole system is controlled, and why politicians are basically puppeted actors receiving corrupt payments from this. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. it, it also makes allowances for children to be taken from uh, honest parents that can be used to uh, foster out because they are the unabused children. So the, it's not only profitable that way, it's also accessible to losing and disappearing children. Done, and done historically, and it boils back to the Vatican, okay? And you, really you have to kind of get a deeper comprehension of what is called Babylonian paganism, which is the um, the adversary or the complete contradiction of, of true faith, okay? In that it's all sun worship and it's all, all Sunday worship and everything like that. So once you start to see that within the, the Vatican and what has been destroyed regarding true faith, Okay, you start to recognise that what the Vatican turned around and did, and they have changed the laws. So you've you've got your original law, which is the divine law, which is the first book of the five uh, books of the of the Bible, the Old Testament. Okay, and okay, that is your divine law. You've then got what was brought in in, in the UK in 1215, which is Magna Carta law. Okay, okay. The, the next the dramatic step up was in 1666. And the emphasis of the numbers is was, is is relevant. So six 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 relevant. Right. Okay. Is canon canon law was brought in under the ruse of the Great Fire of London, which was set. Okay. Right. Very much like a nine eleven event, an, an inside job event to make a massive, great big change. So they sneaked canon law in. Okay, which is the inverted law, the corrupt law. Okay, in which there was what is known as the Set We K V Act of 1666. The parents un 
knowingly assigning their child as missing dead at sea. Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now with that, okay, when you are signed off dead at sea, your name is written in capitals. So the only time really you should ever see your name written in capitals is on your gravestone. So this act can be checked up in government documents. Okay, and basically what the parent has done is signed their child as missing dead at sea. This document of the birth certificate, okay, isn't anything representing identity of the human being. It's the creation of the secret trust, okay, which is a central banking bank account called the Setwe KV Trust. Okay. okay. When, when, you, when, when you were born of a sovereign nation, Okay, you you are entitled to a percentage of that sovereign nation as you are a sovereign. So by being deemed dead at sea, your entitlement, which is a tiny percentage of the sovereignty wealth, okay, is meant to be given to you at birth, okay, of where you would be deemed now uh, a boy would be called master, and so they're master of their estate, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.